happy Wednesday, aka hump day, y'all. How y'all doing today? Well, honey, I am doing fine. Matter of fact, let me show you how fine I'm doing, honey. I'm having me a cow going here, y'all. Excuse me. Honey, I'm having a cow going, honey, and some leftover uh, Halloween candy, honey, because I went trick-or-treat with my children, y'all. So anyway, y'all, this is what we're going to talk about now. I'm about to get serious now. And I'm not tipsy, y'all. I just started, honey. That was my second sip, so don't even think, oh, she all on there drunk. She don't know if she talking about honey. No, I did. So, let's do a time check real quick. Hope it won't cut off for me. Now, we on Wednesday hump day, November 20th, 1047 p.m., okay? My children is in the bed, honey, so it's mama's time here. Husband in the room watching ball game. Children in the bed. Mama out here having a cow gun, honey, and some chocolate. Oh, my gosh, honey. Mm. No. All right, now, this is what we're going to talk about today. Now, one thing, honey, that you all got to do, and it's something that I do on a regular basis, and if y'all do it, wonderful, honey. If you don't, you need to start. Count your blessings, honey. Because when you think you got it bad, honey, it's somebody that's got it uh, worse than you. Trust me. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about this young, well, she's not a little girl anymore. But I was watching on the show called The Doctors of uh, the other day. When the little girl was two and a half years old, she was playing outside with her little friends around a transformer box. Okay? She touched the wires. Her arms caught on fire. Okay? It says that the, uh, she grabbed the wires, electricity entered her hands. It burnt her arms. I'm sorry, not caught on fire. It burnt her arms. And it exited through her legs, okay? As a result of that, she had to get both of her arms amputated up to here, okay? So, things that you take for granted, when you don't have them, honey, you really miss it and you appreciate it. So, with that being said, I'm going to show y'all this lady, okay? And how amazing she is, okay? How we complain over we can't do this, we can't do that. Well, honey, if you had to be in this woman's shoes, honey, you would stop that, that noise here. So I'm getting ready to hit play on TV, honey. And it might be a little loud because I want to make sure y'all hear. Now, check this out. Three and a half years old, I was playing outside with some other children around the transformer box. And I grabbed onto the wires. And electricity entered through my hands, burned my arms, and then exited through my legs. Okay, y'all. So let me um 
pause that for a minute. Now, do y'all see what I'm saying? Okay, that lady did everything. She did not allow her disability to stop her. And you have so many young people out here trying to figure out a way to get disability. They don't want to work. And they got the use of both hands, arms, legs, brain, everything. And they won't do what they're supposed to do. Oh, well, honey, I just wanted to, you know, for anybody that needed some encouragement, for anybody that needed some motivation, I figured this would be the perfect thing to watch because it motivated me. I'm like, wow, this lady did it all. She didn't let the fact that she didn't have any arms stop her from entering into the muscle contest or the gymnastic contest. You know what I'm saying? So if you struggling with, oh, I don't want to do that, I might not. But she had more of an obstacle than any of us. And she went and did it and won. So with that being said, honey, you can do anything that you want to do, okay? And you should feel blessed. If you got your hands, your arms, your feet, and your brain, and your health. Okay? So, I just want to read a little quote that kind of references being thankful and blessed. When I look around and think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Okay? So, Moving right along. Now, I come on now. I gotta. I, I believe I have the gift of discernment. I know what y'all thinking. She just read a quote about the Lord and she drank it. Honey, they drank wine in the Bible, honey. Okay? It is not a sin to drink wine. Okay? It is a sin to get drunk. Okay? So I don't get drunk, honey. But I will take me a sip here. All right. So let's just get that straight. That was a little Bible session that, you know, I had to do right then and there. Okay? Because I can break it down here. I can go Bible. I can go ghetto. I can go bougie. I can just go whatever way that I choose. Okay? I'm gifted like that, bro. All right? Now, let's move on to the next little quote that, that's in reference to being blessed or whatever you, you know. When you praise, you get raised. When you complain, you remain. And that's by Paula White. Okay, so stop all that complaining, honey, because when you're complaining, you really are wasting time. You could be utilizing that time to, you know, boost yourself up or boost your situation or change your situation. Don't just sit around and complain about it. Do things to change it. Utilize that time to try to change it, make it better. Stop complaining all the time, honey, and be thankful. Okay, now. I got, I think I got one more that I want to give y'all, and then I think that's going to be it. This one is by Ayanla Van Zant. okay? The one that does the Fix My Life show. I love her. So anyway, and this is going to be my last quote before cut off. Hopefully it won't. Learning to trust yourself and what you know takes time and work. You cannot expect to eradicate a lifetime of misguided info overnight. You must make a continuous, conscious effort to get on good terms with you. Okay, by Ayala Van Zandt. All right, so that is about it. And this is another one, because I believe that lady, I don't know if she's married or has a boyfriend or whatever, but I'm sure that her boyfriend or her husband has been confronted with this. So this is a quote in reference to that. They laughed at me and asked me, what I saw in him. Now, in this case, it could be they laughed at me and asked me what I saw in her. I smiled back at them and said, everything you done. Okay? All right. So, one person's trash is another person's treasure. Okay? So, you might not see the good in them, honey, but somebody else will. Here. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, this is what's up with mama. Here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honey, cow gone moment, honey. It's good to wind down, honey. Sometimes you just got to say, Phew. after you done dealt with the children, honey, you done dealt with the husband, you done dealt with all the house duties, honey, you need a cow gone, honey, okay? I ain't talking about that getting in the tub, pulling all that stuff that give you infections. 
if you sit in it too long, honey. No, I ain't talking about all that. I'm, this is a new Calgon, okay? I have reinvented a Calgon. This is a Calgon, honey. No infections here, boo. Okay? And within moderation, you won't have no issues with your liver and all that stuff. No sclerosis and all that stuff. Okay? Just a good old cow going every now and again. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Mm-hmm. Honey, make you pop your gums here. Mm, delicious. Now, that ain't my favorite kind. But it'll do, honey. And like I said, I got me some leftover candy from my uh, Halloween, yo. Mm-hmm. So, I'm digging for chocolate. Oh, this is not from Halloween. This one was from a baby shower. But the rest of this stuff was from Halloween, 